Hi, I'm Auntie Genie, and welcome to Auntie Genie Plays, and this is Nino Kunai, Wrath of the White Witch, Episode 2. Let's get straight into the action, shall we? Let's get in there. You can't swim! Oliver? Oliver, wake up! Uh, uh, Mom? <gasps> oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I swear, if I'd known, I never would have. Don't be silly, Phil. What about your car? That hunk of junk? I can make another one in no time. Well, I think you two have had quite enough excitement for one day. Yes, ma'am. Ja! Are you okay, Phil? I have twisted my ankle back there. Whatever will you children get up to next? Uh oh. Huh? Uh Allie, Allie. Uh Allie? Are you okay? Mom, what's wrong? She's having an heart attack. Oh my. Mom? She always did have a weak heart. Mom, oh, dear. I'll fix the doctor. Mom. Oliver, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Mom. You'll be okay. I know you will. Be good now. For me. No, his mom's died. Mom. Mom. Well, that's almost how it exactly how it happened to me at Christmas. Mom. My mum died doing. She was gone before I'd noticed her. And then when I did, I couldn't wake her up. Mm. Sentimental fool. Sacrificing herself to save her child. And yet, thanks to her, the boy lives. Of course. But shorn of his mother's love, to whom can he now turn for guidance? Soon he will come to our world, where our powers are strongest. Very good, your radiance. Mm. Let us see how this story unfolds. I'm sure the ending will be engaging. She's got a mystical cape, she has. You can see all stars in it. Like on Harry Potter. <laughs> Oliver, honey, I brought you some apple pie. I'll just leave it here for you, okay, dearie? Mmm, apple pie. You'll just have to wait and tell dinner, Timmy mm. told him. Oh, it's so sad. He's been in there three whole days now. It's all right, because I, I was in my house for probably about two weeks before I even left the building, as soon as my mom died at Christmas. Mommy starts her new job today, but she's asked someone very special to take care of you. Mommy spent a long time making him. I'm sure he'll look after you very well. Be good while mommy's away, okay? Mommy! Is something wrong, sweetie? Hmm? Just come back soon, okay? Of course, sweetie. We'll always be together, Oliver. Always. Always. It's true, though, dude. Even when they're not there, they're always with mommy. you. In your heart. Come back. I think about my mom all the time. Ah, ah. 
think I'd freak out if I cried on something that turned into that. Lol. Huh? What just happened? You just witnessed the rebirth of Drippy, Lord High, uh, Lord of the Fairies. Um, who? What, are you deaf or something? Drippy, Lord High, Lord of the Fairies, I said, didn't I? Drippy. That's right, and I'm sick to the teeth of you were snivelling and moaning. A proper crybaby bunt in you are. Three days, man. I mean, I've been sad before, but crying for three old days? I'm surprised there's a drop of water left in you. You're a big boy, man. Three days is, well, it's unheard of. What? I, uh... Oh dear, a bit flummoxed, a wee bit lost for words. Not to worry, man, I got all the answers. Oh, but uh, prepare yourself. Explaining all this is gonna take a while. Ready? Uh-huh. Tidy. I like your style. Very honest, anyway. Stay that way, okay? Take you far, it will. On with the show! Uh, okay. See, it's like this, see? What it is, is there's more worlds out there than this one by you. There's what you might call parallel worlds, see? They're like worlds along by the side of your one. And one of those worlds is my world. That's right, a whole nother world. Another world? That's quick you are. And I, that is the Lord High Lord of the Fairies, the reason I'm by her in this world of you is, well, it's because there's a proper bad apple trying to upset the peace of both our worlds, see? Shada, the Dark Jinn, his name is, and what he did was he took over people's hearts and spread war and ruin all over our world. Tried to stand up to him, I did, and he turned me into a flipping doll and kicked me out of our world and into you as the rotter. Uh-huh. And then you went and cried all over me and poof, the curse was lifted, just like that. Which makes me think you must be the one we fairies call the pure-hearted one. The one the legends say will save our world. Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, eh? So, anyway, that means I'd better get you over to our world and have you get rid of Shadar for us. All right with you? Me? But how can I...? Don't fret, man. It's a big responsibility, I know. But you'll be all right, especially with me to help you. Oh, I found this dude. Oh, want me to ask properly, do you, Fedus? What? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you please come and save our world? Oh, pure-hearted one, will you come and save our world? No. What? Sorry, I must have misheard you. What did you say? Go on, once more, but louder. I won't do it. I, I mean... I can't do it. This is why they say never work with children. I ask nicely and you give me a hearty yes, sir. That's how this works, see? Gee whiz, that would be swell, you say. It's just a <laughs> oh, this guy's awesome, this is. How am I supposed to work with this? It's like he's never read a story in his life. But I don't know anything about your world. And I just can't right now. What, because you were mom dropped dead? Wow, that's the good way to put it down as yeah. What cause your mum's dropped dead? Oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna all day. Okay. Let's see now. Blimey. It can't be. But then it can't be a coincidence, neither. What is it? The great sage Alicia. Then we might just be able to save your mum. Huh? What are you talking about? You ready for another year full? Oh, why not? The souls of people in your world and my world are connected, which means people from over by you have another version of themselves over by there, called a soulmate, see? And people with soulmates can even look like each other. Now, you a ma'am, well, she shared a soul with the great sage Alicia. A proper talent she was. Huh? So my mom was a sage? But how does that help us save her? Well, Alicia tried to take on the Dark Jinn, but his power was too much for her, and he trapped her in this dark jewel called the Soul Snare. When that happened, then the link between hers and your mam's souls would have been cut off. But if you could free Alicia, it just might fix the link, and who knows, it might even bring your mam back. Is that really true? I can't be sure now, but it's possible, yeah. Well, that'll be horrible, because if your mum comes back and she's been buried, wow. Wait. Isn't that like a nightmare, waking up in a coffin? How do you know this, Mr. Drippy? You've been a doll this whole time. Ah, now there's clever of you. Good question, lad. It's like this, see? I'm not the only fairy. Even though I was stuck by you, my buddies were keeping me abreast of all the goings-on over there. How? I suppose it's what you might call telepathy. 
And that's not all. I was sending my lordly orders back over there, too. Having them spy on Shaddaa and that, you know, tidy, huh? Hmm? What is it? I'll... I'll do it. I'll come to your world. Sweet! I'll come with you and save my mom. Oh, that's marvellous! You might be doing it for all the wrong reasons, <laughs> but if it saves our world, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Tidy! We better get going then. Chop, chop! Okay. But how do we get to your world? Oh, curious, are we? All right, I'll tell you. First thing we need is a drop of magic. Go and have a dig around in the fireplace. There's something hidden there so nosy parkers won't find it. But why would anybody hide something in there? That's for me to know and you to find out. Look lively. Oh. Right, so we've got to go down here now. Oh, I like it. It just follows you around. Bye, please. Blop. There's going to be a sticky in the corner or something. What could be hidden in a place like this? A mighty spell book. Huh? A book? But it were burning there. Not this book. The wizard's companion laughs in the face of fire. Wouldn't be much of a spell book if it didn't, now, would it? Really? Aha! Gotcha! Wow. <coughs> this is a spell book? That there is the wizard's companion. Also known as a tome wizard in, knowledge. in some games. The wizard's companion. I obtained an item! Yay! Now listen up. I will teach you what is my wizard companion and yours. If you want to read it, press triangle. To open the main menu, you should sit it down on the bottom right there and just need to choose it with X. And you can leap through the wizard's companion if your heart's content. Take a minute or two and skim through the pages, eh? A small like you, you soon to get it sooner than later. Oh, I almost forgot. The first thing you need to do is when your hands are all wizard's companion is to make a pledge. You need to vow what you do, what you can do, what your worth is of being wizard. Don't look so flipping worried. It's not hard. All you have to do is write your name in the book and with open on his heart. And don't even write Oliver. You don't want to. You can write Bunting and Crybaby or whatever you like. The important thing is that you mean it. Go on, scribble your name down. Right, this is where I get my name. Um, uh, where's Anne? Over there. And uh, oh, come on. Jean, Maya just put my name in. Jean, hey, Enter Genie. There we go. That's my name. Are you happy with Enter Genie? Yes, because it's about to crack this time. You have taken the wizard's pledge, and they are now privy of the timeless wisdom of the wizard's companion. Tidy. Right, magic in our way over to my world, is it? Hmm, now let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? Yes, you've got to have a wand, Why or it's you... not like Harry Potter. Ah, oh, well, can't be helped. We'll just have to look for one outside. Huh? A stick. We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right, at least, was it? Ah. <sighs> <laughs> right, yo, we're gonna find ourselves a magic wand. You mean there's one hidden around here somewhere? Like a spell book. Ha! You're having a laugh for if you're going to make it that easy, man. What do you think I am? Made of wizardry equipment? No, this one's a little bit more difficult, but our journey over to my world is a hunt of soul snare, among other things. So why don't you treat yourself to this warm-up to the Easter egg hunt before the wild goose chase, if you will? The what? Uh, okay, I guess. Okay, I'm lying about the last thing. I never brought a wand with me. I mean, look at me. The price of the lovability is a small stature, ain't it? I only just managed to flip and carry that book, man. Any more and I could have been crushed. So even theories tell lies. <laughs> I did the voice from there. Of course they do. Those fairies are incredible liars. 
Anyway, no point crying over spilled milk. Let's get ourselves in substitute it. Shall we? A substitute? How can there be a substitute for a magic wand? Well, if you have found something brown and sticky, like maybe a stick, maybe we'll be able to make a muddle through. Uh, okay. You're sure a stick will work? Do you think I'm sending you up the garden path or something? Fine, I'll give you a hand. Follow me, Bunting. La 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 la. Hmm. Hey, what are you looking at? Don't tell me you're uh, thinking about using a lamppost as a flipping wand. Well, you can cut that thing down and start weight flipping too big. You need a stick or something, ain't it? Why don't we go have a look over there? Okay. I think everybody would freak out to see something tiny just wandering around. This one's proper tiny motor. Might get you myself one of these. <clears throat> Sorry. No proper timing, is it? There ain't one like over here either. Let's go over the other side, shall we? Okay. Let's go find something over and pop it in in your bag for safekeeping. Look at the top left in menu, you'll see your bottomless bag. In the a bottomless bag, that means it's never gonna run out of slots. In there you'll find all your items all nicely sorted into different categories. There's handy. Use L1 and R1 to switch between categories, of course, there ain't much to see in a moment, but when you get lots of stuff in there, be a modern order in it. Anyway, next time you pocket a tidy item, be sure to closely look in your bottomless bag. Put in my bag, sure. Bottomless bag is now accessible from the main menu. I'm going to go down this way. Because I can see that star. Ah, it's no use. There's nothing around here that looks like a wand. You're not doing wrong. Bunting, alright. We better split up then. Bruno and the Switchlight. I'll go take a look. Another round in the corner of your house. You stay here and head up outside of the search, okay? Uh, okay. Okay, brown and sticky, brown and sticky. Huh? Oh, it's you. I reckon she's a ghost of some kid that got killed. Or maybe she's from the other world, I don't know. You're, you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. So, how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you... going? Hey, where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick, like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. <laughs> he says, why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean, oh, this is hilarious, I this is. If it was all right, me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Ta. Ta, much well, like... I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come on. 
Hi, I'm Andrew Genie, and thank you very much for watching. This is End of Nino Kunai, Wrath of the White Witch, and we'll see what happens to Mr. Drippy and Oliver in the next episode. The previous video to this episode is in the top box and a random video in the bottom box. Check them out. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Yeah.